Well, fed up with a string of violent crimes in recent weeks, the Cooper Young business community is hoping some more Sky Cop security cameras will help. So they're banding together and paying for seven more of these cams out of their own pockets. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live in Cooper Young tonight, and the story is all new at 5. Brad? Good evening, Richard. Those cameras will go here at Cooper and Young and other well-traveled Cooper Young intersections. Meanwhile, those who've lived here for years wonder if more blinking lights on these blocks will actually deter crime. We want it to be over. <laughs> you know, we want people to be safe here. Tamara Cook fought tears as the Cooper Young Business Association Executive Director laid out why setting up Sky Cop cameras like these in the coming weeks is so important. It's just an added protection that we feel like we need. Human life is so precious. The reality of violent crime, a major focus in recent weeks for many who work and live in this neighborhood. Last month, two women in separate areas of Cooper Young were attacked and one was briefly kidnapped. I was ki drop kicked, dragged by my hair at gunpoint to the car. That was the final straw that broke the back. But others who live in Cooper Young were skeptical whether more sky cop surveillance will lead to safer streets. I don't necessarily think the cameras are going to protect anybody. Um, I think it's, it could be a, a false sense of security. Patrick Durkin moved to Cooper Young 10 years ago and believes more patrols on the ground, not cameras overhead, would be a stronger solution. People want to walk to these businesses. They want to be safe. Um, I just think maybe there's, there's another way to do it. Now, the Sky Cop cameras, the goal is to have them installed within the month. In addition, some neighborhoods in this area, some surrounding blocks. They also have about 70 private security cameras set up on these side streets here in Cooper Young. Also, in recent months, businesses have added some extra fencing and lighting as another safety precaution. Reporting live in Cooper Young, Brand Broders Local 24 News.